an appeal issued for gaming operators not to be too hasty. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. It's always good to see you. With more than one gaming house set to begin layoffs in a matter of weeks, the Minister of Labor is continuing to appeal to those establishments not to move too quickly before adjusting to new taxes announced in the 2018-2019 budget. Cleopatra Murphy spoke with the minister, who says government is still in the process of engaging those establishments. Island Left has given notification to the Minister of Labor that intends to lay off more than 300 employees in a matter of weeks. The move comes as government prepares to increase taxes on web shops that could have revenue taxed up to 50% on a sliding scale and increase value-added tax to 12% come July 1st. Minister of Labor Senator the Honorable Dion Folks says by law, the minister must be notified in advance of redundancies. In the event that 20 or less people are being made redundant, um, a one week's notice must be given in writing. Um, if it's 20 or over, it must be a two weeks notice period. We did receive a letter from Island Luck in the latter part of last week indicating that within 30 days, they intend to terminate 350 persons. Island Luck has attributed the restructuring that will eliminate half of its workforce to the pending tax hike, but folks says he encouraged gaming houses to see how the taxes impact their businesses first. A sure win also announced last week that it intends to close several locations, primarily on the family islands, and terminate some 50 employees. Folks says he's encouraged at least one gaming operator has listened. Mr. Craig Flowers has decided not to make anybody redundant, that he's going to watch the process, see how it works, and he's not going to act prematurely. He said that his main focus is to save jobs. And as Minister of Labor, I was very happy to hear that this morning. I'd like to urge all of the other houses, the other six or seven um, um, houses, web, web shop houses, to, to just be patient and see how this works out. The Minister of Labor says Ashura Win has not given any notification of layoffs, but says he is aware that prior to the planned tax hike, changes were in the works for underperforming stores. Folks says he is unaware of a Sherwin's timeline, but wants to work with the company. We have a, the labor exchange, for, for example. Every day business houses are calling us, asking for job seekers to come in to be interviewed. Um, we have the 52 weeks program also, um, that, that's also available. We have training down to the National Training Agency, the BTVI. The government is going to be make, making a subvention to BTVI to help train young people. So there are opportunities out there. The Minister of Labor says the economy is doing well, particularly tourism, so there are opportunities for job seekers. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.